that makes my bulge look good. I'm gonna wear that in case I see that girl with the that other girl. Oh right, I still haven't seen her. I don't know what she looks I like. No, I'm talking about the girl you like. Oh yeah, I like her. I just think she, her clothes fit her really nicely. That's all. They just like are fitted. I gotta check this bitch out. Like you know Jennifer Aniston. No. She gets her shirts Who's tailored. That? She's an actress or something. Or singer. Yeah, no shit she gets her. She gets everybody. That's, That's actually I mean. something. Some it, Getting things tailored isn't that expensive. It's not, and it's worth it. Well, why don't you do it? Well, because all, all the clothes I wear are just my brother's T-shirts. Well, that's a problem. But they're so comfortable, and I feel comfortable in them. Everybody's laughing at me. I'm not happy with my body, i got to say. Well, get in shape, like me. Well, I'm trying, but I have to have a frappuccino. I changed everything day. about, I started... I wake up six eight. Here's my. Is Aaron recording? Wait, let's take bets. Yes. Yep. It's just starting. Just this second. Nope. See. You've been recording. For over a minute. Yeah. Over a minute. Oh, great. Now someone's Suck calling. No money. <laughs> Who's the fuck's calling? I'm not gonna answer it. It's Joe Rogan. Why don't? Why not answer? Because I don't want. I don't guess. want Joe Rogan on my podcast. No. But that would be really good no, for our podcast. No, because he spreads vaccine disinformation. Okay, sweetie. So no, no. Oh, you know what? I bet if we answered the phone, he'd he'd be like this. Oh hell no! He'd be like this. Nay. Because he took that fucking horse worm. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, that's him. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. How's it going? Hmm. How's the podcast? I guess your How's podcast has opened up to a whole new audience, horse audience. Yeah. <laughs> so, Joe, what's going on? You're in Austin. You're doing uh, some shows with Death Squad. Have you been on Kill Tony lately? <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. No, I lo we listen to Kill Tony all the time. We love, well, we do. We, are we call fans it Kill. Of, I'm like, hey, Amanda, let's, dude, let's watch Kill tonight. They're doing a live stream of Kill. Yeah, dude, we love it. That's cool, Joe. All right, Joe, well, we got to go. I know you want to talk and stuff, but we're kind of busy right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, he's doing, oh, you're doing some shows with Chappelle? <laughs> cool. All right, Dude, well. if we move to Austin, we maybe could meet Dave Chappelle. Think about that. <laughs> I've never met Dave Chappelle. We maybe could. Maybe. If he's, like, there all the time, and let's say, like, Duncan's in town. Why, why would Duncan be our conduit to Dave Chappelle? I don't think, I don't know if Dave, Duncan's ever met Dave Chappelle. Well, maybe we, we all could hang well, out. Well, I'd have to start hanging out with Joe Rogan, but Joe Rogan, like, that crew doesn't like me. Well, you know what? They would probably Nobody like Nobody likes me. me is the problem. Okay, but they I've would alienated like me. myself from I'll all, the, suck them off. all the comedy scenes. I'll suck off that whole crowd. I'll suck them all off. The problem is that uh, <laughs> I only like things that are funny but you what, but he's a nice them. he's a nice guy and i'll suck him off if that means that Ooh. we get to meet dave Chappelle, joe rogan suck him off i don't give a shit <laughs> who would i have to suck off to meet dave Chappelle? the only person i thought was funny was norm mcdonald and he's passed Aww. away now i was watching his old clips on um conan yeah and it's just funny He's very, very funny. He really did leave behind a lot of, uh, there's a lot of funny stuff to watch. I mean, it's always great when you see Conan, like, really laughing. Yeah. And, I like, mean, not knowing what he's going to say. The Courtney Thorne Smith, uh, let's see if I can find that. We've that already is, played that on here. Yeah, I know. Ha yeah, we have, haven't we? Yeah. I would say, like, I, because I was talking to Sean O'Connor a lot. Yeah. Oh, we should have Sean on the podcast. Oh. Um, and yeah, I mean, I regularly would show people that I talk about just the day before Norm died, I was talking to, uh, in the green room in Phoenix with Stanhope. I don't know how it came up, but I was like, oh, have you ever seen that Norm Macdonald thing where somebody asks him if, uh. If he's still a big fan, if he's still a fan of Bill Cosby and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm still a fan of Bill Cosby. And they were like, so you can you could still listen to his comedy after everything. And he goes, 
What, he did comedy? <laughs> <laughs> Paraphrasing. And he has a story on, did you ever hear his Bill Cosby story on David Letterman? No. That's, we can play that. Okay. I think it's fine to, I mean, although we are, uh, um, this will be out later. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a few weeks late. Yeah. But everybody know that this is just a couple days after Norm died. She must be very excited and proud, though. I mean, because you work with big, big stars. Like you've worked with, I know you've worked with Bill Cosby. Oh, yeah, Bill Cosby, man. He was, he's my favorite guy ever since I was young. Mm -hmm. And I got to open for him at this comedy thing. And he was the greatest. I got to meet him and stuff. And you know, when you meet these guys, it's so like, you're, you know, you're in awe, shock or something, you know, because you can't believe you're talking to this guy. And, uh, and uh, so I told him, I said, you know, he's always funny. He has yeah. that funny way of talking. So I go, hey, hi, nice to meet you, Mr. Cosby. And he goes like, uh, yes, yes. You know? <laughs> yeah. And then you just laugh, you know. <laughs> and then so I go, uh, oh, man, I go, you're my favorite, you know. And ever since I was a little kid, I always listened to you. You're my dad's favorite comedian ever, you know. And he goes, now, where is your dad from? Yeah. yeah. That's so pretty go, good. Uh, right. That's pretty good. Maybe I'll do him this week on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I tell Cosby, you know, I say, oh, my dad's from uh, Ottawa. So he turns to his buddy Ben as his manager or something, mm -hmm. and he goes, Ben, isn't we aren't the Ottawa? You know, mm -hmm. and uh, Ben goes, yes, we are uh, playing Ottawa soon. Ben understands right, what sure. Cosby says. <laughs> and, uh, he goes, yes, Mr. Cosby, we are. Uh, we do have a, a gig in Ottawa and uh, coming up. And uh, he goes, what is your father? Give me a paper. <laughs> so he gets a paper and he goes, here now, write your father's name on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything's funny is that. If I said, that, hey, write your father's name on the paper. <laughs> no, it's not, no. So, uh, so he goes, and the pen. The man needs the pen. You know? <laughs> so I get the pen in the paper, you know. So I'm writing down my father's uh, thing. And then uh, all of a sudden I realize that uh, my father's dead. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm in this uh, situation. My dad's been dead eight, nine years, and I got the, the paper and the pen, you know? Yeah. And uh, so uh, I, I know Ottawa's area code, you know, so I write that, and then I'm just writing down, uh, like, random numbers, you know? <laughs> and then I go, uh, here you go, Mr. Cosby. This is my father is still alive's number here. <laughs> and he's like, ah, hey, get up! You know? And then, so I thought, God, man, that's a stupid thing I did, you know? And uh, then a couple weeks later, uh, I get a call, and it's Bill Cosby oh. on the phone. And he's like, I phoned the number! <laughs> <laughs> and he was so sweet, like yeah. he'd actually phoned my yeah. father's number. Like, what a great man, you know? Oh, man. And he said, the man does not live with the number. <laughs> <laughs> the man answered, and not your father. You know? <laughs> so I'm like, uh, oh, I'm pretty sure. Because <laughs> I couldn't go, oh, yeah, I forgot. He's been dead 10 years. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Gave Bill Cosby his dead dad's number. A fake Just number. Just made for it his up. Dead dad. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. Yeah. What was Sean saying? Uh, Just he's sad, huh? Yeah, he's sad. He didn't know he was sick. Really? I guess he didn't tell anyone. I mean, if you don't want any, if you don't want people to know something, you just can't tell anyone. Yeah. Probably told his son. No, probably not. Maybe not. I don't know. That would suck. What would suck being Norm Macdonald's son? Mm, having cancer and dying. Yeah. Well. It seems like everyone's going to get it at some point. As the COVID-19 vaccines become available, well, you might be will. asking yourself, Here's how they're gonna get should it. I get it? And if I do, will I be able to go about life without putting my family at risk? You've got questions. Is that the main question about the vaccines? Is that if the I question everyone? It, will I be able to live? Go about life without putting my family at risk. 
I think that's the number one question. That's what people are worried about. It's the hesitant people. Huh? Here As the COVID-19 vaccines become available, you might be asking yourself, should I get it? And if I do, will I be able to go about life without putting my family at risk? Yeah, that's generally. You've got questions, and that's normal. The fact is, the vaccines are safe and effective. Oh. They're going to save lives. Okay. To get the latest on the COVID-19 vaccines, visit GetVaccineAnswers.org. Because getting back to the moments we miss starts with getting informed. It's I haven't missed any you. moments. I've not missed one moment. Well, I've I lived mean, my life the like same. A <laughs> I'm a lone wolf. I mean, there was an illegal speakeasy bar that I've been going to the whole. I mean, before well, it's not when illegal all the bars anymore. Were, yeah. yeah. Now they're all reopened. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a secret illegal speakeasy only for unvaccinated people. That's illegal. So that's the way it's gonna be. Yeah. It's gonna be a whole. Dude, it's gonna be like freaking what's it? Like Days of Our Nights. It's gonna be like oh Days of Our Nights. Oh my god. Days of the streets, the oh, city lights. I had a, oh, it might be on the other computer. Damn it. Damn it. We have we have one, two, three, we have five computers at our house. Six, including the Surface Pro. Don't say that. Somebody will find out where we live and rob us. Okay, well, two of the Laptops. Two of them don't, don't work. work, and the Surface and Pro basically Surface Pro. doesn't work. Yeah. So, we have two. Well, we have three that work. Three working computers. Yeah, I mean that's more than anybody really needs. Oh, I was gonna say, um, be talking about Norm Macdonald died. My cousin, t my cousin. She died. No, oh her dad God. died. But when we were at, we were just went to the water park, and I don't really know much. I mean, she's been in my family for like 10 years. She married my cousin, Jake. Uh -huh. And um, she, I didn't really know much about her. And she's like, yeah, I don't really know my dad. And he lives in Nevada. And I guess he's remarried, whatever. And then just last weekend, he died. She texted me. She's like, he died. I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, I'm like, oh, I, I didn't talk to her, but I'm like, oh, he must have died of like a heart attack or something like very sudden. And then I was talking to my brother and he was like, oh, he used to be in a gang and he was murdered by a rival gang. I was like, what? Just all like, wait, her dad? Her dad. So like somebody in their 60s still gets murdered from gang I violence? I guess. And like, that's why they don't, I mean, they that's never all, saw each how other. How old is she? She's like your age? Yeah, she's like 31 or something. Okay, 32. 31. And how old's her kid? Like 16? Or she something? had her first kid when she was 19. Damn. So yeah, she's 13. Or 12 or 13. But, yeah, I'm like, oh, my God, what? Her dad was fully murdered, like, got into so his car and was so shot, like, like, 10 times. Maybe in his 50s. Or, like, my mom's age, probably, Well, you like don't 60, know. Depends on like when. That. She's 31. He could be, he you could know, be anywhere 20 from years 50 older. to 60s. Yeah. But um, I guess he used to be in a gang. and What gang? I don't know. Let's try to start a gang. Should we call someone? Sure. I mean... I don't know. Podcasting is like a gang. Oh, yeah. What would our color be? Brown for poop. Is there bra <laughs> brown for gang colors? <laughs> Let me see. Gangs are spooky. Oh, my gosh. I remember I heard this song, like, back when I... I mean, I must have been in middle school or something. There was this song someone played for me. I don't know. There was like this rap song, this underground rap song about like this guy who like joined a gang. Fudge to Town. Be, okay. And to be in this gang, he had to like rape someone yeah. and kill someone. That's how I got in my gang. And I know he, this song. You know what it is? It's by Immortal Technique. Okay. And then he like rapes this woman and then afterwards he realizes it's his own mom. <laughs> he rapes. Is that right, Aaron? And then he jumps off a building. Mortal Technique. Yeah. It scared the shit. I was and like. What's the <laughs> name of this song? I dance don't with the devil. I don't it know. Might be point of no return. I, I mean, of, either of those sounds right. Look for mom <laughs> rape. A guy rapes his mom on accident okay, and on. kills himself. Is this it? Sounds like something like this, like really, like kind of spooky. And I remember listening to it when I was a little younger, and I was just like, oh my god, this is scarier than like a, a horror this movie. Like a hall. This is like one of those videos that's like a little movie. Once knew a nigga whose real name was William. His primary concern was is making yeah, I think it is. being the illest hustler that the world ever seen. He used to fuck the funny stars thing. and sniff coke in his dreams. A corrupt the funny thing is this was this will be taken down by YouTube for or it'll be flagged for copyright. 
It'll be like, sorry, the rape, the guy who raped his mom. At the age of <laughs> sorry, the guy who raped had a father and his mom was yeah. a fiend. She put the pipe down, but for every year she was sober. Her son's heart simultaneously grew colder. He started hanging out, selling bags in the projects. Checking the young chicks, looking for hit and run prospects. He was fascinated by material objects, but he understood money never bought respect. He built a reputation because he could hustle and steal, but got locked once and didn't hesitate to squeal. It's like, so criminals the song's annoying. It's like a song you're like, oh, okay, I'm listening like to the story. Never been equal. Okay. I don't project my insecurities on other people. He fiended for props like addicts with pipes and needles. And so he felt he had to prove to everyone he was evil. A feeble-minded young man with infinite potential. This is a six-minute long song. Bread, Well, maybe skip mental. to the part where he raped his Well, I don't know where that happened. To sell Towards the end. Okay. The Guy, cause he was lonely and scared But only the devil responded Cause God wasn't there And right then he knew what it was To be empty and cold And so he jumped off the roof And died with no soul Oh see like death makes you Before, before he jumps off the But how his mom used to come And start to cringe and stutter Cause he was staring into the eye Adam and ice That was the part strong. Yeah I'm falling and I can't turn back Okay I'm falling and I can't turn back Right before he pulled the trigger And ended a life Thought about the cocaine with the platinum and ice, and he felt strong standing along with his new brothers. Cocked the gat to a head and pulled back the shirt cover. But what he saw made him start to cringe and stutter because he was staring into the eyes of his own mother. She looked so. Wait, does he rape her before this? Yeah, and he was about to shoot his own mom. Stop moving, blood leaking through the roof, and then held it down on the ground, screaming, Shut the fuck up and stop moving around. The shirt covered her face, but she screamed and clawed. So Billy stomped on the bitch till he broke. In the jaw. Them dirty bastards knew exactly what they were doing. They kicked her until they cracked the ribs and she stopped moving. Blood leaking through the cloth. She cried silently. And then they all proceeded to rape her violently. Oh. Billy was made to go first, but each of them took a turn, ripping her up and choking her until her throat burned. A broken jaw mumbled for God, but they weren't concerned. When they were done and she was lying, bloody broken and bruised. One of them niggas pulled out a brand new 22. They told him that she was a witness. But what she gone Wait, through? And if he killed her, he was guaranteed a spot in a he thought about it for a minute. She was practically dead, and so he leaned over and put the gun right to her head. Okay, so he's about to kill this woman. I'm falling and I can't turn back. Well, I mean, we already spoiled I'm it. Falling and I can't get up. I'm falling and I can't turn back. Right before he pulled the trigger and ended a life, he thought about the cocaine with the platinum and ice, and he felt strong standing along with his new brothers. Cocked the gat to a head and pulled back the shirt cover. But what he saw made him start to cringe and stutter because he was staring into the eyes of his own mother. She looked back at him and cried because he had forsaken her. She cried more painfully, and when they were raping her, his whole world stopped. He couldn't even contemplate his corruption had successfully changed his fate. And he remembered how his mom used to come home late, working hard for nothing. Because now, what was he worth? He turned away from the woman that had once given him birth and crying out to the sky because he was lonely and scared. But only the devil responded because God wasn't there. And right then, he knew what it was to be empty and cold and so he jumped off the roof and died with no soul they say death takes you to a better place but i doubt it after that they, so killed he went his to hell. Yeah, okay. and they killed his mom anyways but i remember listening to that i mean i must have been like hey, listen. i can't get up okay i was like a like 11 or 12 and i can't get up yeah when did that song come out I don't know. It's this. It was on YouTube from 2007, and it's got over 50 million views. So that's about when I heard it. it was 2007, so I was okay. in my 20s at least. Okay, so 2007. Was, I, was like I heard 16. that at work, <laughs> like in a group work situation. So what? I mean, how did Where that were you song? Working? It was McDonald's? like a viral no. song or something. No, it was just on somebody's iPod. That's all. That's all. Why would you want to listen to that song? Mortal technique. Why would you play that in a communal room at a workplace? Because it's, yeah, a, it's a powerful message. Don't if you rape go, your if you want to rape to be in a gang, well, guess what? Make sure it's not your mom. We all got mothers and brothers and sisters and brothers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, but, I'm always about, I'm all about keeping the like community, like just talking to these young brothers. You know. Anyways, don't join a gang because you might rape your own mom. Well. What's fucked up is those dudes knew that was his mom. Right. Like, they knew. They got him on... They he didn't got, know. They but it's all fiction. Well, right. This guy made... He wrote a little rap movie. Yeah. See, I thought it was real. I kind of thought it was real. Like, I was confused. I was young enough to think, wait, is this a real true story? And it really scared me. What was that song called again? Day of the Dance Dead Dance with or the something. Devil? Was it Dance with the Devil? Yeah. Dance. Dancing with the Devil. There we go. There you go. You got a whole thing there. Dancing 
Dancing with the devil. Dancing with the devil. Who does that song for real? Van Halen? Yes. Running with the devil. I know. Running with my ass Dance with the out. devil. I mean, it doesn't say when it came out. What the hell? I, I feel like it was like this creepy, like weird underground song, but yeah, that scared the shit out of me. Anyways, I didn't mean 2001 for... it came out. Okay, so I was 10. Post 9 11. 10 or 12 or something. Anywhere between 10 and 12, I think I heard it, and I was like. like Six oh my minutes. God. Like, what the. I just don't see what the appeal of that song is. It's the same. It's just Because it's a same story. Riff. It's the story. Yeah. And he rhymes it. He rhymes pretty good. I mean, like. Oh, does he rhyme It's good? a good rhyming story. You know what else rhymes good? Mother Goose. I don't see her talking about stuff like that. <laughs> Well, all those old bro- the brothers Grimm, all those stories are. Grim. <laughs> oh, is Joe back on? All right, Joe's this is another Joe's bad. Online. Last episode sucked, and this one is heading in the same fucking direction. We didn't have to play the whole song. I was trying to find the part you were talking about. The whole, so- I mean. Yo, I joined a gang mother. and I went down and drank some tang. Walked with my boys to a tang. house. Tang! Oh my god, I forgot about tang. Are you? What are you doing? I'm fucking trying to do my rap. I forgot about Tang. Poon Tang? No, the orange stuff. Okay, go again. Yo, yo, check it out. I'm going to join a gang and get some clout. Me and my boys, we broke into a house. The punch the windows and the glass came out. We went upstairs, there was a lady in bed. Pulled off the cover, put a gun to her head. Said, yo, listen up, we're gonna rape your ass. And if you cry, I'm gonna cut you with this glass. Ooh. I don't like you saying stuff like that. That's scary. I'm doing a rap. So wait, you like it when the other guy does I never rap? liked it. No, <laughs> it scared me is what I said. Okay. Check, 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 uh, uh, check, check, uh, uh, check, check. There was a rat, he lived down in the subway. Got some pizza and he carried it away. Up the stairs, he took the pizza in his mouth. And he's gonna take it outside, out, out, out. Gonna get it to his lair and eat all the cheese. Bring it to his family, they will get on their knees and say, Thank you, Pizza Rat! 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 For bringing pizza to our home! Thank you, Pizza Rat! For bringing pizza to our home! Thank you, Pizza Rat! For bringing pizza Yo, check it out. Yeah, what's up? (laughs) It's me, Pizza Rat. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. I found him hanging out in the (laughs) subway. Oh, that bitch just dropped a slice of pizza. I'm gonna take it my way. I'm gonna take it in my mouth. Up the stairs and out onto Broadway. Gonna take this pizza home to my family. <laughs> Gonna feed my family with pizza. <laughs> I'm Pizza Rat's little sister. I see Pizza Rat coming home. He's got a big pizza pizza in his mouth. Bigger than me, up the streets and into the sewers. I don't care if you do her, that's my mom, and she raised me right. I'm gonna feed my mom pizza and my whole family. Gonna eat pizza, courtesy of me. My name is Pizza Rat. Pizza Rat? Pizza Rat. <laughs> Shout out, Gavin's Pizzas for you too, Grandma. I know you 
A good jam. Yeah, that, that nice started to sound really good. I'll be on it Spotify. It did sound bad, huh? Yeah. See, I was messing around on the keyboard. Yeah, I figured out what key it was in, and then see, I could that's sort of what we need to around. do. This is a musical podcast. Mm. We should do a podcast where we both drink iced coffee. Can I have a sip of that? And then we see who has to take a shit first. Give me a sip of that shit. Come on, we got to get on the ball. The last episode is the worst episode we ever did, and this is not any better. I was sick last episode, okay? That's not fair. Well, so am I. What do you think? That tasted good, huh? Tastes like there's weed in it. Got kind of a weed taste to it. Weed. Up, oh, two shots of weed. <sighs> I still feel like I can't breathe right. Maybe you have apnea. Maybe I have as it's pronounced asthma, stupid. <laughs> but and I don't have that. Fuck you. All no, right, I let's had, call someone and say I we're had, the devil. Okay. I had full-on uh, sleep paralysis the other night. If you, if you hadn't had that, it's scary. Yeah, there's like a whole... I feel like we've watched There's a documentary about it. about it. Yes. But it's like I... You know what? I think it has happened to me before because like when it happened the other night. It happened like two or three times the other night, though. And uh, yeah, it's pretty scary. It's when you wake up Because like you wake up... Yeah, like you're having a nightmare and you wake yourself up. But even after you're awake... You can't, like, I couldn't move and I couldn't breathe, which was the, like, it was like I was trying to take a breath, but. Well, you know what they said? They, I mean, what I read about it is you're in REM sleep. Uh So you're, so your brain's sort of in like autopilot, but you're awake. So you can't like switch your brain into like, you know, breathing on your own and stuff because it's just doing its own thing. Yeah. So that's the scary part. What's the deal, though, with seeing, like, a shadowy figure? I don't know why that's part of it, but there definitely was a part of it for me. It wasn't until I was reading about it, and then it said, like, oh, you also see a shadow, like, a shadow person in the corner. And I was like, oh, shit, I saw that. I mean, it was just Dude, the were curtains. were you scared? But, well, I feel like I was freaking myself, you know, because, like, when I was like, oh, that looks like there's a per-, Like, I mean, whatever. It was just one of those things when you wake up and you're just kind of out of sorts. I've woken up from scary dreams before, but I don't think I've ever had that. No, it's a very unique, very... Uh, even if you think you had it before, it's like, well, you really... You think you know, but you have no idea. Yeah, you just don't know shit. And also, let me just send a shout out to uh, anybody... No, I'm not going to say it. I don't want to be negative. Who should I call? I, I don't that's even know your who to call. thing. Well, I'm trying to think of You're who to call. You're the caller, man. You're the call boy, baby. Let's talk about mm, like what we did this week together. 
Don't start. Like, really? What do you mean? Start with your bullshit. Like, couple stuff. Okay. People always think we're mad at each other, so let's be like... Just your dumb brother's dumb friend. Doesn't count. If you're listening to this, Bryce, you're not dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I know him. Why is he watching this shit? Probably because... Be a... Thank you for calling the... Located in... Invalid entry. Oh, Please you. try again. Invalid entry. Okay, I, I went there Invalid recently entry. and it was actually pretty Please good. I'm not saying... Invalid well. entry. Please. Invalid entry. Invalid entry. <laughs> Invalid entry. Uh, invalid entry. Play the beat. Uh, invalid entry. Uh, invalid entry. Please uh, try. Invalid entry. Please try again. Invalid entry. Please try again. Invalid entry. Please try. Invalid entry. Please try. Invalid entry. Invalid entry. Please try. Invalid entry. 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 Invalid. I mean, are you pushing Invalid. every number? Yeah. Invalid. Invalid. You probably entry. just have to wait. Invalid, Invalid entry. Invalid. I just want to get someone on the phone. Why you got this something that keeps me from another person? The only reason people call a number is to talk to someone. Let me press one. Invalid entry. Please try again. Try six. Invalid entry. Please try eight. Invalid entry. Try nine. Invalid entry. Try ten. Invalid entry. Try eleven. Invalid entry. All right, you can't do that. Please try again. Invalid entry. Please try again. Everything is an invalid entry. Oh, now that's ringing. Thank you for calling. How can I help you? Hey, um, that's so weird. Do you know the outgoing message that you have? On when you call uh -huh. the phone. Well, it says, like, I just tried to push zero because you know how those messages just go on forever. And it said it was an invalid entry, and then I just pushed every number, and it said they were all invalid entries, but then it rang, and you answered. Okay, how am I helping today? Okay, well, I have the, um, I'm a, uh, I'm having a religious dinner thing, and I'm a, uh, well, I want to make a reservation for, uh, so unfortunately, Lord. we're not taking any of the only. Yeah, here, I'm a Satan worshiper. This is the devil. Hi, this, this is, is the devil, devil, and I would love to make an, a, um, a reservation for 10. Under devil? Under Satan. <laughs> Satan devil. I have, I know someone who, if they listen to this, it's not going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be a shit storm for me if they ever hear it. Hopefully they don't hear it. We gotta change, we have to change the search algorithm, so if, if this person searches Brendan Amanda podcast, it, this doesn't show up. Okay. Here you go, you do the, or I'll, I'll okay. do the intro. Oh, you know what I did in Phoenix? Mm. Thank, Thank you for calling. Hey, how, how's it going? Good, thank you. How are you? I I want to order some uh, pizzas to be delivered to a uh, to a meeting that I'm having. Okay, one second. What's that address? I'm sorry. It's six 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 Hell Street. And here, I'm gonna put my boss on the phone. He's he's gonna put the order in. Hi. This, this is, is the, the devil. devil. We'd like, like to order six. six. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this would scare people? I don't. I mean, as a kid, if someone called and had this voice and was like, this is the devil, I'd be like, oh, oh my God, the devil just called me. <laughs> Should we call people that we know? And say it's the devil? Yeah. Sure. I'm coming to... to uh... You're like, what does the devil do? Come to... Make him an offer. Oh, to, for your soul? Yeah, but like... Some weird... like, But also some skill, like... Like, I'll make have. you really good at guitar if... Yeah, yeah, something like you that, yeah. You promise to go to hell when you die. 
That's kind of all he offers, really, is to be good at guitar. Yeah, what else does he do? I mean, I should, you know, it's like he punishes bad people. Doesn't that make him a good guy? You ever think of that? <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't punish. Wait, what? Hell is like where bad people go to be punished, and that's what the devil, the devil's like in that's charge. That's a pretty good point. Let's call a Catholic church and ask them. Okay, get ready, be oh the devil. God. Get ready, be the devil. Hi, devil here. Hello? Hi, this, this is, is the, the devil. devil. Oh, is it? Yes, yeah, so I'm here to make you an offer. I offer you to be really good at guitar if you promise to go to hell when you die. Uh, I don't want to go to hell when I die. But you could be so good at guitar, like, like as good as Jimi Hendrix or something. Yeah, this is. Hey, this is a. Uh, Hold on, let me put my assistant on. Oh, the devil has an assistant? Yeah. Well, it's like a vice devil. It's, a, it's like the president. Oh, I, I couldn't really hear you. We get, uh, I'm like a president. It's like the president. It's like the devil and the vice devil. And here's our offer. We'll give you... We'll make you good at guitar and you get unlimited free guitars. You just have to go to hell after you die. Okay, so... All right, so if I agree, I go to hell when I die, but I, I'm good at guitar and I get unlimited guitars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, do I ha uh, Okay. Okay, what about this? What about this? You're, you'll be really good at guitar and the ukulele. I don't want to be good at the ukulele. And you, uh, and you can French. Piano. You can French any chick you want. All right. So, all right. So, let me get this straight. I also want to be good at piano. So sure. I, I, I'll be good at guitar, piano, all the guitars I want, and I can French anyone I want. Yeah, yeah. But, but then, then you, you have, have to go to hell when you die. Well, we said any girl, but yeah, I guess you can French anyone. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, yeah, I just... You I can add that addendum in the contract that you also want a French boy. I didn't want to be... I didn't want to be so cis, you know? Uh, but, like, but like, okay, all right, I'm trying to... Like, this is hard, because, like, what is hell like? I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Some people don't really like it. They don't like the vibes there. But it's just a lot of torture and a lot of... I mean, brimstone, fire, brimstone, screaming, um, raggedy clothes. You just like stand up all the time. You can't lay down, and that's for eternity. What's that joke? There's a joke about. But how how long is eternity? If, if you really think about it. Exactly. I mean, it's up to you. Have you ever seen the movie The Irishman? It's like watching yeah, that two or three times to. in a row. <laughs> <laughs> what a burn. But, but like, would, it, would, would I get used to it, like, in hell? Yeah, get probably. Used to it? Yeah. yeah. So then, like, it just becomes like you're going to work every day it, when, like, people yeah. are, uh, yeah, like, sticking fire ants in your pee hole. Exactly. I wonder how bad it gets, really. Maybe it, maybe... I don't know. Maybe I can make it. I mean, you seem like a fun guy. Maybe I could give you a break every now and then. We could fuck around with some angels or whatever. Or you could come with me up to Earth and we could fuck around with people. I do that sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I would love, I would love, you know, like, uh, like, I'll agree to the deal. But also, like, I just want to know if there's, like, upward mobility there. So, like, maybe I could just come work for you. Sure. Uh, well, that's like, what Richard. People, I'll nip. That's what I'll which... nibble on people's buttholes and okay. stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I mean, that's what Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, was hoping for. He figured that he's doing the devil's work, so when he goes to hell, he'll be like, you know, have like a sweet position there. But this is the thing he didn't know. If you want to go to hell, you don't go they there. They send you to heaven as a punishment. Yeah, they send you somewhere else. They send you to limbo. You're stuck in purgatory. Where you don't do anything. Oh, yeah. Oh man. So wait. So is Richard Ramirez the Night Stalker? Is he in he he's in heaven or is he in purgatory? 
He's in purgatory, but it's more heaven-like than hell-like. Yeah, because he wouldn't like... Oh, no. My voice changer stopped working. What? Oh, no. Amanda. He's going to know it's you. Oh, shit. Wait, is this A-Train and the B-Man? <sighs> yeah. We got yeah, you. Yeah, shit. But you thought it really not, was the devil uh, and his vice devil. I'm not, even, I'm not even kidding. I got this phone call on my cell phone, and the number it said is at 666. <gasps> Wait, what? Really? Oh, spooky. Yeah, when you yeah when you called, it came from 666, so I <laughs> thought it really was the devil. <laughs> I was telling Brendan, or B-Man, I was like, if I got a phone call with someone and a voice changer like that when I was a kid, and someone said, this is the devil, I would be so freaked out. I would fully think oh, it was the me devil. Too. Imagine yeah. that. I went, I, w I went to Catholic school, so I would have definitely thought it was the devil. Oh and then, God. like, he'd probably be like, I would just hope he wouldn't say, like, kill, kill your parents. Oh, right. my God. That would scare me. I would be, like, freaked out probably for, like, years. Because it's like I wouldn't be able to say anything to my parents about it because you have to keep them safe or whatever. Oh, my God. Yeah. We should do that to Marley. Well, that was another classic, uh, another classic Norm MacDonald bit with the... The guy where the devil tells him to kill himself, and he's like, "No, nah, it's me, Bob." Oh yeah, I just saw or me, kill Bob. his family. Yeah, <laughs> kill his family. He's like, yeah, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you really got me there, Bob. Uh, well, we weren't <laughs> calling to <laughs> talk to. We we naturally we were, we were doing the devil. We were calling people saying it's the devil, and I said, "Well, we should call people we know." And you were one of the last people I texted. So, this is Sean O'Connor. Oh, for everybody listening. Yeah, hey, oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad to be back on the pod. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad that the. Listen, I love doing all of these things. Uh, we have a live stu in-studio audience. We have a live in-studio audience. Oh, very cool. Uh, this is like, this is so exciting. I mean, we're, we're about to go pick up our son from school, and this was the best possible thing that could have happened. You should tell. I mean, the actual best, the yeah. best possible thing would be if the, the real devil called me and offered me a deal <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> Guitar and piano. Is Being good at guitar. That's the main, like, but that's the movie Crossroads. Remember that movie? I think, isn't that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, with uh, Ralph Macchio. Yeah, with Ralph Macchio. Ralph Macchio. And yeah, he's like, he wants to get really good at uh, blues guitar as like yeah. a 14 year old. <sighs> I mean, the worst kind of guitar to get good at. Nobody wants to listen to that shit. Unless yeah. you're like in your 50s and you yeah. live in Austin or whatever. I like the blues. Honestly, like, I think. No, no one likes the blues. I think the yeah. best guitar to get involved in is like, you know, like pop rock because you actually make money doing it. Yeah, like Maroon 5. Yeah. Like that's the kind of guitar playing. I was talking <laughs> to as Johnny Ryan Adam Levine. about because uh, on Howard Stern, you know, remember the remember Howard Stern when he used to be good? Well, it's good again because they just had Miley Cyrus and Metallica singing a song. They have Miley Cyrus with Metallica singing a song. And uh, I was talking oh, to Johnny really? Ryan, it, and he was said... Was it a ballad? Uh, it was uh, one of Metallica's songs. Ballad <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they changed the words to uh, Master of Puppets to uh, Fauci Ouchie. <laughs> um, but Johnny said he was like, he's like, yeah, I think next week they have uh, Slayer and Ariana Grande on. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, so you're going to get your son, our son-in-law, I guess. He's our son-in-law because he's yeah. married to our daughter. Yeah, I mean, our, our our kids are married. They got married <laughs> last Sunday. It's pretty funny how... <laughs> and they how kiss each other a lot. Marley is really just stick... Like, it's just not even like... there's. It's not like a... There's nothing a joke about it. She's just like, yeah, I love Nolan and I'm going to marry him. Yeah, he's my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, he's That's my... what she's like, he's my boyfriend. I'm like, okay. <laughs> never falters, never <laughs> changes yeah. who her boyfriend is. It's just always <laughs> Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> so tell him that you uh, talk to the devil on the phone yeah when you pick him up i will i mean he he's been wanting to talk to the devil so this is actually really <laughs> exciting uh, yeah oh we could call we but, could, uh, when you get him do you want to put you want to put him on the phone and we'll scare him with our deep voices no oh my gosh that'd be funny no 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 aaron just bought aaron just bought a giant skeleton and like she wants to know where i, I want to put it in his bed so when he gets into bed tonight it's there oh my and god really freak him out for <laughs> Yeah, that might be too much, but I'm with you on that. he'll never sleep in his bed. He'll yeah. never sleep in there. That's, no, that's too mean. <laughs> it's too much, but I get it. I mean, I would have the same impulse. That's evil, then, if that's your first thing. Have you... Um... Yeah, that was way... Oh, no, go ahead. 
no, no. I mean, like, that was my first impulse. I was like, this will be really funny. But you are right. If we did that, he'd then sleep in our bed every night till uh, for like, eternity. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, he's like 45. Three. Even when he's married, like, you have to go on the honeymoon with them. So him and his wife can sleep in, your, in bed with you guys. I know. He's I mean, there is stuff. that thing that you really do have to keep in mind where it's like, oh, this is like... Scarring someone for life is a possibility, and I it's have starting control now. to do that. Oh, yeah. yeah, and, like, now is the time when things will just seep into their brain forever that they won't fully even understand, you know? Yeah, it really is. I mean, like, it's why I can't eat mayonnaise now. It's like a nun made me, force-fed me a sandwich when I was, uh, when I was five. For real? <laughs> for real, like... She, she screamed at me in front of, like, all the older kids that, like, there are kids starving in China, and I had to finish the sandwich. Oh, my God. And now uh, you're turned off to mayonnaise, the best condiment ever. See? That's what I mean. Yeah. I, it happens like that. That's what, that's what people say It's the best condiment ever. I just, I, 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 to me, it's just, it's so easy to come in, in the vat. Like, yeah, to disguise come? I just feel... <laughs> Yeah, I feel I feel like dudes are like just jacking off into it because I had a friend who worked at a bakery, Big Lou, and he got fired for jerking off into the Boston cream. No, oh my are you God. serious? <laughs> I, I swear to God, I swear to God, it happened when we were in high school. Why would he do as a joke? Right? Why? why how, uh, that's kind of evil. I mean, I he wasn't. He here's the thing. He wasn't particularly funny. So mm -hmm. I don't think it was a joke as much as he was just, like, trying to get back at the world. He was yeah. angry. What? Do you have any <laughs> oh clue of, as to, like, what he's up to now? Uh, we're Facebook friends, but I, I, don't, I, I don't know what he's up to now. I mean, I assume he's just, like, probably jerking off at a computer. <laughs> well, that's like everybody. Yeah, I mean, that's what we do now. If you, if you ain't jacking it, you ain't cracking it. The whole, I, exactly. I don't know what that means, but the, <laughs> exactly. uh, for 20 years, people have just been jacking off at computers and the government's been like, yeah, there's no way to regulate that. I wish we could. <laughs> that's been, that's a realization is, that is. I had over the, over the past year where I was like, wait a minute. Why? How has that been pot? Like how, number one, it's just like, how's that healthy for us? That's a good way to just like, if you want a society to crumble, give them free unlimited pornography. Well, it's like a brave new world. Yeah. But, no, uh, I mean it, it's true. We 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 just have Marvel movies and then like porno, and now like, I mean like not to sound like a ninety year old, but now like you can just see anyone you want naked on OnlyFans. Yeah. 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 It is. It is. I mean that's that's fine. You know, a subscription thing. But what I was thinking was like, wait, how how did? Because like, you know, being with Amanda, who's younger than me, and you guys are you're younger, like. You probably saw, like, what's your earliest memory of porn? You were probably way before puberty, and you probably saw something, like, re that wasn't even invented uh, in the well, 90s. Well, I was weird. When, when, I, when I was in my mom's tummy, they put a little, a little porno mag for me to hold <laughs> while I was in there. Oh, oh so, God. like, those pictures of the fetus, you're holding a magazine in that, <laughs> in that famous fetus yeah. position? <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking in, at a hustler. I'm in the, 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 yeah, the famous fetal uh, fetus position, the fetal position. I am in that, <laughs> and I'm just like looking at a. Uh, I think it was called like, uh, like ba baby hustler or <laughs> hustler or, for kids. <laughs> <laughs> Prenatal hustler. Yeah, it was, it, it's it was just like, other fetuses. It was like highlights. <laughs> Prenatal penthouse. <laughs> It was like highlights too, where you had like it was a maze that you had to get to the. Book. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, when I get home, I'll Photoshop a dirty magazine in a fetus's hand and send it to you. And you can put it on your <laughs> change your Twitter profile pic to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I, and that is actually like I would be more excited to spend a few hours doing that than actual work that could get me ahead and help me support my family someday. Is photoshopping your head onto a fetus body with holding a penthouse. I mean Oh, you got that sorry, horn. You've been just, talking about that. You yeah, finally yeah, got somebody it. Somebody just cut me off in traffic. It's, uh, it's embarrassing <laughs> when that happens. And you honked at them. That's great. <laughs> so yeah. what did that cost, the horn? 
Oh, man. Uh, it was like a, a, my neighbor got it for me. He said it was a cool grant, and he kept calling it a cool grant. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. It is pretty cool, right? Like, $1,000, that's like no fun, but calling it a cool grant, ooh, baby. Yeah, it's also a good, that's a good amount to spend on a gift. Yeah, but I, I actually do have to go pick up my son now. All right, then. We'll talk to you later. I was going to do an in-depth interview about Norm MacDonald with you, but I guess that's uh, I guess that's. Save it for next week. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll just show up at All Things Comedy. Uh, Maybe we will do it next week. I mean, I wasn't really, I wasn't really trying to do that. I just, uh, um, but yeah, maybe come on next week anyway. No, I, yeah, I would just like to come on and fuck around. Uh, I'll, I'll come. It's one block away from JoJo Siwa's dance studio, so I will be there in the morning, and then I'll come over to your studio. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, yeah, we'll time it with your dance class. If Thank you, you. If you want us to scare your tap. if you want us to scare your son, just call us back, and we'll have the scary voices lined up. Perfect. Okay. All right. See ya. <laughs> I'll talk bye, to you guys Sean. later. Bye. bye. All right. Bye. Dude, he really thought it was the devil. Yeah. He must have the number saved. Talking to the devil. I should have. I didn't even think about, like, when I called him, I was like, oh, we were, well, whatever. It would be cool to have a semi-serious part to talk about, because, like, Sean knew Norm very well. I know. And uh, I... Did you ever meet him? Yeah, with Sean was opening for him at some... What was the... It was some kind of L.A. festival. What was the... Is that Adult Swim thing or? I feel like riot? they did a comedy festival down there. Riot festival. Oh yeah. Maybe maybe that was it. And I there was a, the Regent or some theater downtown, where we saw. Miley Cyrus. No, we saw like Tim and Greg do something there, and we took your brothers. And oh we were yeah, it's kind of small. Yeah. And uh, was it FYF? Maybe. I I don't know. Um, but Sean. I, you know, he was like, oh, do you want to meet him? And I was like, yeah. And went, took me up backstage and, you know, I mean, obviously Norm's not excited to meet anybody, you know. And I was playing it too, you know, I, I didn't say, I was just like, oh, hey, it's uh, nice to meet you. I'm a big fan or whatever. But I wasn't, you know, I'm like, oh, I should have like really said like, oh, you're like the biggest influence on my comedic sensibilities. Like. I really, you know, I really remember seeing him when I was a little kid. And, uh, I mean, I probably wasn't that little, but, like, you know, 13 or something. And My friend uh, recently posted, a, like, some old clip of Sherry O'Terry and Molly Shannon when they were on SNL. Yeah. I don't remember what the thing was, but I was like, oh, that was really good. That's that When I was a kid, that's who was on SNL, like, Will yeah. Ferrell. Molly That's Shannon. Good still, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, it was like really good. Oh, well, Norm McDonald has like the weekend update. Like to look at Norm McDonald doing weekend update and and uh Michael Che. <laughs> yeah, Colin Jost. Yeah, I like, know. Like how do so you vanilla. It's like you fall so far. Fall far from the tree. Oh, it's just, I fell it's, it is, so far and got so far. You know sing. that song? And in the end, it doesn't even matter. You know, we maybe we should stop doing the podcast. Why? Because this is two in a row really bad. What's, what's bad about it? You, okay. Listen, Aaron. Before oh. it even starts, you're saying it's bad. Because <laughs> I can tell. Two minutes into I've it. I've been in this business for a long okay, time. Okay, but so how about you say this is going to be good. Okay, this is going to be a good podcast. We've already done it for like an hour. Well, no, I'm saying at the beginning, instead and of saying it's going to be bad, you're putting that negative energy out. No, 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 Yes, no. you are. Well, Guys, I know that I'm a, tired. We had a good phone call as the devil. Uh, we had the pizza rat wrap. I think this is great. See? God damn. Although, I do think the Vice Devil's name should have been Hellman. Just, Hellman. Just as a note for next Duh. time. Duh. You're Hellman. This is Hellman. I'm Hellman. I'm the devil. You're Hellman. Um, You're the devil. We, we are the, the devil. devil. Being the devil is fun. I poke your ass with the pitchfork. <laughs> Make you go in the fire and burn your hair. What else does the devil do? He makes you a good guitar player, a good piano player, a good singer. I'll make you famous. I'll make you rich. 
Bob you. Dylan has a deal with the devil. That's why his voice can't sing no more. He can't talk. You can't hear him no more. Bob Dylan. I've seen him live and it's like so bad. Hey, this is the devil. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Oh, yeah. Hi. Can you hear? What can I get? Um, yeah. I'm gonna put my boss on the phone. He's the Dark Lord. Go ahead, boss. Hey, this is Lucifer here. I'd like to order some. This is Lucifer? Satan? You might know. I hear like an echo. Oh. It's me, Lucifer. Like you're talking like from two lines. Okay, my name is Satan. It's the devil. Have you heard of the devil? How can I help you? Hey, this is the devil. Can you hear me? Yes, it's a, it sounds a little strange, but I can hear you. Okay, I need 666 sandwiches, please. 666 sandwiches? This is me, the devil. Yeah, it's the devil. Oh my god. Here's my vice devil. That's the devil on the phone, bro. Yeah. What? Sig All right, six I'm here to make you an offer. Can you hear me? Okay. I'm not selling my soul, but okay. Oh, well, wait, till she, wait till he gives you an offer. What if I make you really good at guitar, like as good as John Mayer? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I used to play guitar. I don't do that anymore. Well, maybe you could get back into it. Saxophone. Saxophone? We sure. can do that. We could do the saxophone. What about a vaxophone? It's a saxophone that shoots vaccines at people. Uh, I'll, I'll take it. Okay, but you have to be in hell forever with me. That's okay? How's the weather down there? It, it's, it's hot. hot there? It's hot. It's hot? It, you know, hotter what? than Southern California? <sighs> Yeah, barely. It's like Phoenix, <laughs> Arizona, hot. Yeah, it's like it's like a hundred degrees every day. Okay, so not as hot as Southern California. I nah. can probably do that. You'll be good, dude. And then you can come down and you could serenade the other hell patrons with your saxophone. You know what? Doesn't sound like a bad deal to me. All right, well, we'll cool. stop by. We'll have the paperwork ready. All right, we'll see you soon. Alright, I got a, I got a pen. I'm, I'm waiting on you. Okay, right. Do you know how to make a pentagram? A, a what? A pentagram. What about it? Just draw a pentagram on the piece of paper and, and write. Then we'll sh and then write six six six. Satan rules six 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 hundred and sixty six sandwiches. And then take it into the bathroom, turn the lights off, light a candle, and say the, the devil, the devil, the devil, and then I'll be there. Uh, it's a lot to do, but I'll I'll do it. And then you'll be good at the saxophone if it's worth it for you. I mean, come on, dude. I mean, honestly, it's not, you know what? I'm over here complaining. I'm gonna I'm go ahead and just do it because that sounds worth it to me. Great, sounds good. Thanks, man. All right, boys. It was nice to talk to you. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you soon. I'll see you in the bathroom. Yes, sir. See you in the bathroom. Bye bye. See you in the bathroom. 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 In the bathroom. In the bathroom. We'll see you in the bathroom. It's kind of fun calling people as the devil. Oh, is it? It's kind of fun, actually. Oh, now we have, now make my voice high, and I'll be an angel. Okay. Hi, this. Hi, hi this, this is, is an angel. angel. <laughs> well, it's better, better if, if you, you make, make your, your voice sound deep. deep with this this one. is an this is an angel. <laughs> This is an angel, and I'm here to offer you a trans to be. Trans? Trans. Trans? In heaven. Would you? I have a question. Would you? you be trans if it meant you could go to heaven? Huh. Should we call a gym and ask them? Sure. Well, we'll call this place. Or should we stay away from that topic? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's weird to ask people that. Would you be trans if it guaranteed you got into heaven? <laughs> it's kind of a weird question, isn't it? Well, we could make, like, what are... How bad do you want to go to heaven? And what are you willing to do? Would you kill somebody if it guaranteed you to go to heaven? Sorry, the mailbox is full. 
Okay, that's a good way Love to run you. a business. Great way to run a business there. Uh, all right, we'll call a gym then, I guess. Oh, gynecologist. I accidentally typed G-Y-N. Should we call gynecologists? Sure. Hmm. I don't really feel like making phone calls. I don't know what to then do. Let's not I'm do like it. out of I'm it's because of me. This is why the podcast sucks. Cuz the the uh success is all on my shoulders. Because of the sleep the sleep sleep demon, whatever it's called. Uh my sleep paralysis. We don't have to make any work. calls then. It does not help. Shit, dude, let's just talk me and you, shit, man. Let's, let's just shoot the breeze, shoot the man. Fucking shit, man. Well, it'd be nice to have a guest or something. All right. I'll, I can be a guest. I'll be a guest. Thank you okay. for calling. How can I help you? Hey. Oh, is oh we got a recording. Oh. Hey, um, we're just gonna leave a message then. We're calling. Um, my name's Hellman. This is not a recording. And this, this is, is Oh it's Hello. Oh, hello, robot. This is Hellman here leaving Press a message one. for you. No, I think it's fine. I think if I just keep talking it'll it's just It's a recording. Did it say press one? Uh, try. Maybe oh. it'll connect us to someone. This, hello. Hello. This is not a recording. Hello. Okay. Hello. Oh, it's one yeah. of those trick ones. Hello, this is. Uh -oh. You're not gonna get me with that. Yeah. My brother Just has the same the thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, so hi. Thanks for. Thank you for taking my there call. You go. Okay. Leave a message. This is Helman here. I'm just calling because I have a couple questions. If you could just give me a call back. That would be awesome. Uh, three, two, three. My vice here has a question. And we wanted to know, yeah, there's two of us. It's uh, the men and women's facilities. We wanted to see if there was a group membership for, if we could do combine like men and women. So I guess call us back. But maybe if I push zero, hold on. Operator, just say operator. Operator, talk to operator. Talk to a person. <laughs> that was Mommy Jessica. Fuck off. What? Mommy Jessica. <laughs> Mommy <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> I mean, friends. she was pretty good. We kind of blew it on that. She, we could have really had some fun with that lady. We'll call her back. You want to just call her back? Yeah. Okay. Hello, this is not a recording. <laughs> she did sound like a recording, though. She did sound like a robot. <laughs> What the hell? Time to put on my shades. All right. Now tell her, off. tell her that you uh, left a message earlier. Okay. <coughs> or say that we got the this, like, the recording, and yeah. we don't know if it let, let us make a, leave a message. Thank you for calling. How can we help you? Hi. This um, is... Hi. This is... Uh, my name's Hellman. Um, we just called and left a message. Yeah, we got the uh, recording. We got the machine. Um, but I thought maybe we'd try to call back so we could get someone on the phone. Okay. This is someone. This oh, is... not Hello? the recording. So press one. Press... Oh. <laughs> She's got no time for us. I mean, it really does not sound like a genuine person. She doesn't sound like a person. They need to fix that. Okay, let's call this place. This is good, though, isn't it? That this coffee? coffee? I'm telling you, it does taste like there's weed in it somehow. I need to, I don't know. You need to drink some kava. You heard of kava? I just need to get some energy. I never, I don't have any energy. I'm in terrible shape. I'm going to die. I'm gonna die. There were two guys in my Pilates class. You need to do Pilates. Well, how's Pilates? It's like an insane workout. Mm, cardio? Yes. Please leave your name, number, and your. Hello? Hi, this is Hellman here. Hi. Oh, wow, that's crazy. We were just getting your voicemail. And then someone ans and then you and then answered. And you answered. Is this the voicemail still? No, oh, wait, this no. is a recording, I, I, I think. Just Oh, it's one no, of those I joke ones. Oh, press zero? What should I do? Just wait until the beep, I think, and okay. then we can leave a message. Why would she hang up? Why would she hang up? She only tried to tell us once that she wasn't a recording. Maybe they think that we're joking around. I guess so. 
Dude, Pilates is like the best exercise. Okay. Yo yoga does it. Madonna does it. Okay. Have and you seen Madonna looks great. lately? She looks good. She, looks she does look good for like a 65-year-old hag, I guess. Not the face part. No. <laughs> Her face is probably... I mean, there's so much filler in it. Yeah. That's what people don't get. Like, don't, you don't need that much filler. At a certain point, you just can't. Like, you can fight it to a certain point. I think Madonna is at that point where it's like, you got, you just, just be your body's going to change. Just be an old whore. Yeah. Hey, this is, uh, hi, is this the voicemail? Hi. Hey. Hello. Hello. Answer. Well, this really is a voicmail. All right. Well, what do you want to do? What I don't know. Happy? I want to have an entertaining pot. I want to be laughing my ass off right now. Well, what's something that makes you laugh? I don't know. Maybe I'm sad about Norm McDonald still. Probably. But I'm also tired. I don't sleep enough. I don't get good sleep. I'm not in good shape. Mm -hmm. got, my, I got, a, got you riding my ass all day. You wish. You wish I would ride your ass. Like with a strap on? <laughs> yeah. See, and then where do we go? Where's our default? Sex, weird sex stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, see, I'm in a good mood today. You All right. Well, then pick, carry the heavy lifting. Carry the podcast. You do it. Okay, but I don't Be know what funny. To do. Say something goddamn funny for once. <laughs> Nothing funny has happened today. There hasn't been anything funny. It just sucks, man. Because that's what that's like one thing I'm good at. Is making people laugh, How but about like a this isn't funny rap. There we go. Yeah, we got Aaron over here. Aaron's carrying the show today. Aaron's that's how, being that's how low, That's how deep he's being that's supportive. How low we've gotten. Is that now? We like, should call this podcast the Insecure Podcast because all we do is talk about how bad it is, and then Aaron has to tell us that it's good. Dios, el trabajo de muchos. Hold on, Hoy this is the Pope telling everybody to get vaccines. Para protegernos del COVID-19. Ellas traen esperanza para acabar la pandemia, pero solo. He said, so we're going to have to vaccinate these kids because we don't want the priests to get COVID on their dicks. <laughs> we don't want priests to get COVID on their fingers or their dicks. How, that's, yeah. I mean, really, the Catholic Church, really? I mean, come on. You can pick someone else more trusted. Every day I meet somebody new, you know. Mm -hmm. This city's great because uh, of the, the neighborly people, you know. <laughs> I don't know. But I did meet one neighbor, interesting story, you know, uh -huh. that uh, this guy, he just moved in, you know, next yeah. door to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm always one to, to meet the neighbors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you like to chat with the neighbors. Yeah, yeah because, you know. So uh, I, uh, I went over to the guy, I knocked on the door next door to where I live, mm -hmm. and I say to the guy, I said, hey, I'm your new neighbor, you know, and I said, uh, good to see you, you know, nice to, nice to run into you, you know, uh, welcome to the, the neighborhood, you know. Mm -hmm. And so the guy, I said, what do you do for a living there, sir, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> you know, what do you do for a living? I'm a, I'm a uh, nightclub comic, I tell the guy. So he says to me, he says, I'm a, I work down at the University of uh, Science there. He says, I'm a, uh, I'm a, um, that's, a good, that's a good school, by the way. <laughs> I, I can't remember the exact place. Sure. But, uh, he says, I, uh, I'm a professor of logic. Oh. So he says, the guy he says, logic. Now, what the hell is that? I never heard tell of that. Mm -hmm. He says, oh, well, he says, it's a, a kind of a pattern of uh, a syllogistic uh, yeah, well, he says it's hard to explain. He says, uh, uh, why don't I give you an example? <laughs> so I said, fair enough. Why don't you do that? So the guy says, well, he says, uh, let me ask you a question. He says, do you own a dog house? So I go, yes, I do. He says, well, then that means you probably have a dog. I said, yes. Mm -hmm. He says, uh, well, that means you likely you have a family if you have a dog. I said, yes, I do. He said, uh, well, then that means uh, you got uh, kids, you're married. I said, yes, yes, I am. He says, uh, well, then you're a heterosexual man. Mm -hmm. I said, yes, sir, I am. He says, well, you see, that's logic there. I, I asked you simply from finding out you had a doghouse, I made this series of inferences, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. I, I found that you're a heterosexual man simply from the fact that you had a doghouse. Mm -hmm. Well, I said, good God, isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so I said, well, I won't waste any more of your time there, uh, neighbor. And I said, I'll see you. See you later. See you around. Okay. So uh, I, went, I said, come on, come by one day and have a, a chicken with me. So anyways, <laughs> I left. 
<laughs> so I left. So I go, I go to get a bus, you know, to the bus stop. Uh -huh. And I, I, I walk down to the bus stop, and I'm still thinking about this thing that happened to me, you know. <laughs> and I'm standing at the bus, and uh, uh, no bus coming at all, you know. Yeah. And five or six of us standing around, and uh, <clears throat> one guy lights up a cigarette there. And he goes, he goes, as soon as you light up a cigarette, the bus comes. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, he smokes the whole damn cigarette, no bus comes. Right, right. So uh, I said to the guy, well, that theory really worked, huh? Yeah. And the guy goes, well, sometimes it works. Anyways, the guy goes, uh, what's new with you? Mm -hmm. I go, well, I uh, had an interesting thing happen to me today. I said, I met my neighbor. Mm -hmm. And he goes, oh, yeah? I go, he had a hell of an interesting job. I said, he's a professor of logic down at the University of Science. <laughs> And uh, so the guy says, is that so? He says, Lo uh, Professor of Logic. He goes, what the hell is that, Logic? Mm -hmm. I said, well, it's a series of Cecilia something or other. Right, right. I said, I can't remember exactly, but I said, uh, I'll give you an example if you want to hear an example. Yeah. So the guy goes, all right, fair enough. So I said, uh, let me ask you this. I said, uh, 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 do you, let me ask you a question. Do you own a doghouse? Mm -hmm. And the guy goes, uh, no, I don't own a doghouse. <laughs> so uh, I says, the guy says, oh, yeah, you're one of them gays. <laughs> For 55 more minutes of this episode, visit patreon.com slash world record podcast. For 55 more minutes of this episode, visit patreon.com slash world record podcast. Patreon.com slash world record podcast.